Hey guys, welcome back to the Girlfriends and Ghosts podcast YouTube channel. My name is Samaria and I'm joined by my best friend and co-host Miyosha. And today we're doing another Am I the A-Hole reaction video. This is a wedding edition one. So mm -hmm. if you like those types of videos, give this a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and of course meet us in the comments and let us know your thoughts on these scenarios. All right, we'll get into the first one. This one says... Am I the a-hole for getting someone disinvited from my brother's wedding because they called his fiance a mail order bride? This one seems straightforward, but let's see. My brother and I are green card holders and are from India. My brother recently got engaged to his fiance and they are going to be having an arranged marriage. Many of you in the U.S. may not find it normal, but it's very normal in my culture. My brother was matched with his fiance on a matrimonial website and our entire family flew to India over December for a month to meet her and her parents. After the second meeting, which was a family dinner, his fiance and him told the parents that they like each other and got engaged. They are set to marry this year, December, and we all came back. Brother is sort of in a long distance courtship with her and all is well. We like her and the family is well regarded in our society. My brother recently hosted a dinner party for just his college friends and some close colleagues, and I overheard a friend of his saying that my brother basically has a mail order bride. I found that extremely disrespectful to my culture. In no way two people in this union lack agency. Both consented to this marriage, and neither of the parents forced their kids to say yes. They can always say no. Our own parents had an arranged marriage, and they are very happy with each other. It's not a problem if I want to marry someone of my own choice. The maximum parents ask for is a background check of the family. I told my brother about the friend and he yelled at him for disrespecting his fiance and uninvited him from his wedding. This friend of his is my best friend's boyfriend and she keeps telling me my brother overreacted and to convince him to let him come. His friend group consists of eight people and it is embarrassing that he isn't invited anymore. Um, he adds a clarification. Uh, I didn't tell my brother to disinvite him. All I did was tell my brother what I heard from his friend. He was trash talking to some of his colleagues. All right. Ooh. Yeah. So uh, the question is, are you the a-hole for kind of not minding your business? Snitching. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder... What's the the cultural background of the person who made the comments? Doesn't matter, in my <laughs> opinion. Yeah. I was going to say, it's disrespectful either way. So if he is not from that culture, then it's more disrespectful than if he is from the culture. But either way, it's disrespect. Mm. So you, you think, you don't think that the brother is the a-hole? Not even a little bit, Miosha. This is his brother like if, if somebody was trash talking my brother's future scenario and then this is a marriage not like just a dating situation mm -hmm. like girl I snitched so fast <laughs> like I don't I don't I don't even understand why he came to reddit like you're obviously not the a-hole yeah that's my opinion. I'm gonna say you're not the a-hole and I also don't think that this friend, so it seems like they're having a shindig with close friends. Yeah. It's actually a close friend. Period. And you just saved your brother, maybe some future heartache of having someone in his close circle that clearly is disrespectful of him and his bride and just of the whole situation. Why would you ever think that that was the place to do it? Um, Why would you think to do it, period? <laughs> And it's kind of odd that you're being blamed for what someone else did. And I'll I'll take a step even further. Um, whoever he was talking to, depending on their response, they need to be X'd out too. <laughs> like if if their response was anything but, oh, don't say that, that's disrespectful to his. But it seems like there's a friend group. And so they might not be as close, the brother and you know, this friend mm -hmm. might not be as close, but they are close with the same people. And so whoever he was talking to, I want to know what their response was because they can get it as well. 
And I'll say, I don't think that he even really wants to come that bad, given his statements. He's just embarrassed that he yeah. is going to be the only one to not participate in the event. Mm-hmm. And everyone's going to be like, where's Bill or whatever your name is? Oh, he he got disinvited. So it's more of a, an embarrassment thing than him probably really wanting to be there to support you in your big moment. And it would be even more weird if they are of the same culture and he was saying this. Listen, if it's if all you, bad, but right, right. If you have an understanding of how these things work, I honestly, I think being outside of the culture is worse than being in because you know, like when you're in a culture, you can critique your own culture and it's like, okay, mm. but if you're an outsider critiquing someone else's culture, it's like, whoa, buddy, <laughs> relax. See, I would think it would be more from ignorance if you're outside the culture and yeah. not. Like the po- there's a possibility of ignorance and it's like eh, it may or may not be malicious versus mm. inside the culture, you know how things roll. So why is this even a conversation? Because <laughs> you don't agree with it. I don't know. I, mm. But that, yeah. that is an interesting point of view though. I can definitely see what- Like I could I see about. someone maybe not understanding certain dynamics within my family mm-hmm. and making a comment on it. And if they're of a different background, I'd be like, okay, like, yeah, of course you don't understand it or you don't get it. There's a level of lack of knowledge and ignorance there. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too easy on them. I think you are being very easy (laughs) on Bill. And I I still feel like we need to find out who Bill was talking to. Um, He does have an edit there, though. So I want to make sure that I I read it. Okay. Um, no, we don't think that dowry is an acceptable custom to exist, and neither are we such low life to demand it. My my future sister in law actually is going to be visiting us for ten days next month, so they are dating and spending time together. I guess yes, in the context of my culture, this website based matchmaking is still considered to be an arranged marriage, at least in India. My future sister in law is an engineer, and she was anyway going to arrive to the USA as her own company plans to send her here. So her marrying someone currently based in the USA is a sound decision, and I would have done the same, to be honest. Nobody lacks free will in an actual modern-day arranged marriage. In fact, it's more practical, as unions are based on compatibility when love and romance can blossom later. My brother and sister-in-law won't be living with us. A new home is already in the works where they'd be living as a couple. To that Redditor who said he is so blessed, he still has some semblance of free will. Please interact with a few Indians around you. Ask them questions. Clarify your misunderstandings about arranged marriages. My brother and sister-in-law are both 29. In modern day dating, there isn't an expectation of marriage. But in arranged marriages, you basically date with that expectation from the get-go. No will-they-won't-they dynamic is there. You need to go watch Indian Matchmaking on uh, Netflix. I can't. I <laughs> I knew it was going to come up in this conversation, but I don't even know how good of a representation that yeah. is. I was like, let me just leave it out. But yeah, see my, yeah, you talk to see my auntie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seriously. Let us know if y'all watch that show. Um, it's, it has like yeah. three seasons now. I've watched all of them. I, I'll be mm-hmm. leaving it up. Right. It's a good show. I enjoy it. It's good television. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like mm-hmm. it. All right. all right, let's get into the next one. Am I the a-hole for wearing white to my sister's wedding? My sister, 32-year-old female, got married a few days ago, and I, 27-year-old female, wore a white shirt and black pants to her wedding, like most of the men there. The dress code for the wedding was formal, and women can't wear white, but I thought it'd be okay because I wasn't wearing a dress. My sister got really annoyed with me, and she hasn't spoken to me much since. She said that I stole the attention away from her, but honestly, I didn't because I didn't stand out at all. I was wearing a plain shirt and black pants. I blended in with the other people. I didn't mean to upset her, though. I honestly thought it would be okay. Am I the a-hole? We might disagree on this one. Let's see. Okay. Well, first of all, is a white shirt and black pants formal for um, (laughs) a formal (laughs) one? I'm I'm confused. I don't think that's consider formal but maybe they have different ideas of formal okay now that that's out of the way um I don't know that I would say an a-hole but I think it is safe to just not wear white at all to somebody's wedding with her not wearing a dress and wearing black pants 
I find it hard to believe that she really outdid the bride. I think that's extremely difficult to do. Um, so yeah, I don't think she's the a-hole because she didn't mean to upset her sister. So I think that would be a reach. But I do think she should have just played it safe and not worn white at all. Okay, so we do agree. I think this is a life lesson learned quickly. Yeah. And that it it almost doesn't matter if you wear an off shade of white. It was if, the crew. It was eggshell. <laughs> girl. Yeah, this is a lesson you're learning at 27. Yeah. Don't wear any type of white. It doesn't matter if, I mean, it's a stretch maybe if the, if you wore a dress and the majority of it was black with a mm -hmm. splash of white, but to be on the safe side, yeah, just don't wear any white. Um, I don't think anyone mistook you for the bride. Right. But I will say that, yeah, some people would be like, girl, you ain't have no other colors. Cause I've seen stuff like that where it's like of all the colors, I even seen a situation where someone asked, um, like, oh, is it okay if I, why even ask? Because now, <laughs> Miosha, I, this is one lesson that I've really learned. Like you hear people say, if you got to ask, then you already know what the answer is. And it has never been false. That has never led me in the wrong direction. If you got to ask, you know what the answer is. And it's, it's no, it's not okay. And even if they say yes, because some people do have a hard time saying no, you know, they're maybe not as uh, argumentative or don't like confrontation, don't equate their yes to them being okay with it. Just assume that they not. I don't know. It's just, well, I guess everybody's not close to their siblings, but I, I just feel like that might have been a discussion that could have happened prior to. Um, well, she said in the letter, it was formal and the, the dress code was formal and women can't wear white, but I <laughs> thought it would be okay. So, girl, you knew. Okay. Yeah, she is the a-hole. Oh, it said nobody wear white, but I just thought wearing white would be okay. Girl, where? Let me read wear... that one more time. The dress code for the wedding was formal and women can't wear white, but I thought it would be okay because I wasn't wearing a dress. She knew at the butt. <laughs> She she wanted to make a Reddit post. She was like, I'm going to go to this wedding just for this Reddit post to be true. Like, girl. Yeah. It, explain to your sister that it wasn't on purpose. It was. Love her. <laughs> <laughs> she can't. She'd be lying. <laughs> I mean, if you want the relationship with your sister to get better. Oh, so she got to lie to her. Okay. Lie to your sister. <laughs> apologize. Say it wasn't out of malice. And just do better going forward. That's all I can say. Oh my God. That is so dumb. <laughs> People know why. Unless you oh. get an invitation and it says it's an all white wedding. Which they're common now. You know, well, yeah, they're pretty common now, I think. Or I've seen a wedding where they're like, oh, it's a black tie affair. We want you to wear this specific color. Wear white. Otherwise, it's don't do it. Oh Lord, oh, yeah. I wore I wore a white top and black pants, just like all the men. It specifically said women do not wear white. So, all mm -hmm. right, y'all let us know in the comments what y'all think. I I think you are the a hole, and go apologize to your sister. We'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs> Bye. Bye.